friends, welcome back. Welcome to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. And for old friends and family to the YouTube channel, welcome back. So tonight we are going to do a pick a card reading and the focus is going to be on what does the universe need me to hear right now? What has the universe been trying to tell me and although this is going to be a Halloween aesthetic and very fall vibes, please know that the energy of these messages are designed to be from a higher vibration always. So don't let the aesthetic fool you, even though it's cozy and Halloween in the office right now, and honestly, pretty much year round, the energies and the intuitive messages are always going to be authentic. But I'm very much in love with the Halloween and fall aesthetic. All of the oracle cards and tarot cards will be linked down in the description box, as well as this delicious salted Yankee candle that I have burning here. You guys know usually I have like a fixed candle burning, but for right now it's actually at my altar. So I've got some good energy flowing through the office as I'm shuffling cards, pulling the messages for you. And I have a little bonus edition of this big wooden jar of charms that I will be throwing down for you as well. So the first message is going to be the Serpent Scales Potion Bottle. This jar is filled with black glitter, like a sequence. It's not actually serpent scales. What does the universe need you to hear? That's gonna be the first message. Again, serpent scales. Second message, second message is the Eyes of Misfortune potion bottle. And it is filled with little eyeballs. They look pink, pinkish brown. They kind of match the label. Third message of what the universe needs you to hear are raven wings. And in this potion bottle are two black feathers. So take your time. Choose one potion bottle or two potion bottles or three potion bottles if that's what you want. There's no wrong or right way to do this. Just follow your intuition, please. Try not to force anything. And of course, I'll meet you at your timestamp. All right, my love, so if you chose the Serpent Scales Potion bottle, this is your message. These are your Oracle cards. I haven't pulled them yet. This is the tray that I will be using, and I'm gonna shuffle the charms for a little bit. It might be a little loud, so if you don't like this noise, feel free to mute or turn the volume down. Ready, three, two, one. Oh, I can feel. I, right before I put this down, guys, I feel this one. I do. I do feel this for you. Wow. Okay. Let me go ahead and flip these over. While I'm flipping these over, please um, go ahead and like the video. Give it a thumbs up. It just allows YouTube to understand that my messages here are worth listening to. Oh man. Okay, what does the universe want you to know? Who? First of all, there's a hyper focus on love and relationships, big time, divine counterpart, energy is showing up. Also, memories. This is bringing up energy of the past, someone that it is that you're thinking about. 
it's so interesting because out of all the charms that you have, you actually have the bottle and you have the cork. And I can't tell you, this bowl is pretty deep. And for those two to come together in one reading is pretty telling to me. This feels like something that has been held on to, that you've been holding on to, is about to open up. Or you're going to hear, hear someone, you're going to hear from someone, maybe someone from the past. Or you might have some pretty significant information coming through through from someone that it is that you really love of the past um, I hope I said that correctly yeah there's a lot of love here we have Libra we have Pisces we have Aries energy showing up there's something about your growth there's something about your growth and your evolution there's something about how the universe is wanting you to know that you've really taken taken some really painful situations and you've handled them with grace. I'm also seeing that there's been something here when it comes to love that's really genuinely been bothering you. It's almost as if you if you have like happiness, it feels like there's something else that is like eating away or scratching away so that you can't fully enjoy. And I feel like this might actually be something of the past, something, a relationship from the past. The universe right now, what the universe is trying to tell you is that you are ready, honestly. There's, I can't tell you how much, so there's so many charms here. Let me just get my my bearings. There's so many charms here that are suggesting and and wanting to let you know that you are ready and the time is right now. There's also something that the universe wants you to know about your divine feminine. Leaning into your divine feminine or the path that took you here so that you had no choice but to show up as divine feminine in full. I'm also saying, um, being shown that the universe is trying to let you know that you've come to a space of, I don't say contentment, but finding peace in the current, like finding peace in, in how things have um, manifested and revealed themselves to you, the good and the bad. I there's definitely a charm here that keeps showing up in a lot of a lot of charms when it comes to memories. We have the elephant here. We also have the key that represents memory itself. Both of these things are here and but it doesn't it's not showing up as light-hearted memories. It's showing up almost as like painful nostalgia, like wanting to go back to the past or it's showing up on of trauma or things that have happened that you haven't totally let go of and you're you're learning how to let go of you're actually leaning into letting go of it the universe wants you to know that you've you've come into a really fine balance between your masculine and your and your feminine energy they want to encourage you to they want you to encourage your practice of surrendering and letting letting things go and something about that allows allows your next blessing to unfold. I also am getting a really strong sense of spir spiritual protection when it comes to you moving forward and what the future holds for you. Some of you guys are expecting that you need to fight, you need to defend yourself, and I don't see that. I see a balance. I see a balance here between your feminine and your masculine. So it's not just a hyper masculine energy where you need to protect and defend. It's feminine where you can actually fall back and and rest and allow things to unfold. It's wow, I didn't see this, but there's this charm here that says your past does not determine who you are. Your past prepares you for who you are to become. That's exactly the vibe that is that I'm getting is something about turning the past and any difficulties into a situation that becomes more of a positive. I'm also getting a strong sense of personal transformation around you. It's interesting because you have the pumpkin charm and although this is fall season, for me the universe is 
showing this as you're turning a, a negative and or something that is almost it's like Cinderella how she the the fairy the wizard the fairy godmother waves her wand and turns the pumpkin into this chariot this is essentially you working with your your uh your angels and your guides but i also wanted to just say just now you're ascend the the ascended master so there might be someone specifically an angel specifically or archangel that you've been working with specifically in order to turn this turn a, a situation and especially when it comes to relationships and love turn it around for the better the universe is asking that you allow masculine to be masculine and feminine to be feminine you might have in the past embodied both of those energies or leaned into one more than the other and then that's what created struggles for you but it's because of that that you've learned lessons specifically lessons of the heart that has aided in your growth now and what is creating a blessing almost a miracle for you and for in the future the universe is trying to show you signs right now that number one you are ready and you are prepared but number two you may not realize this but something about how you are surrendering and honoring your own journey and how you've learned is actually manifesting balance specifically when it comes to to love like deep deep love i'm not sure if you've been focusing on twin flames or divine counterparts or if you've given up hope on that but there's a lot of energy that's allowing you to transform uh, well not you allowing these the environment around you the universe around you to bring you to the space where it's of a higher vibration and that's going to be where you meet your person you also have pisces energy and whether this is your sun moon rising or that reflecting of the person that is if you have a person on your heart either way it represents this beautiful higher vibration of love and connection and divine union i do want to say that the the universe is referencing specifically memories from childhood memories of the past it's not saying whether it's good or bad it's just kind of bringing them up there's an innocence about you that you that the universe sees about sees of you actually very interesting i think that Ooh. Okay. If someone, oh. If someone, this has to do with pregnancy. If you've lost a a child in the past, which is very triggerish. I'm sorry. There's either the spirit of this child revisiting in the future, in the very near future. Not to the say, not to say that there's a like that the child doesn't show up in the present but it's like somehow you're going to see a sign it's interesting because the child is almost showing up as a teacher for you i'm also seeing that this child may reincarnate in someone or something well someone that as soon as you meet them your heart you can like you can see them it's it's inter it's so interesting. What does this say? And every hair from fair sometimes sometimes declines. And every hair from fair sometimes declines. I think this has to do with age, like losing losing time. But I feel like you you have time. What does it say? Find joy in the journey. That's what the universe is trying to show you right now is that somehow you have made, I keep wanting to say mountains out of a molehill, molehill but that's not the case. It, it's like you, somehow you've made the best out of a situation. And I feel like when, if the universe is saying you're making mountains out of a molehill, it's almost like they're trying to show you how big, how big what you've done is or what you've achieved for yourself, how big it is whether it be your your strength your your transformation the journey 
the universe sees this as something so much bigger that I don't think that you are giving it enough credit because you feel like you're going to be making mountains out of the molehill that you don't want to be negative. And it's not that you're being negative. You, we have to give credit where credit is due. The universe is saying that there's something here that is that you've been holding on to your heart. Honestly, you've been holding it so close to your heart. And I feel like this is about to manifest or materialize in some way. And it's just, this is why there's so much protection for your future. I don't know if I stress that enough in this reading, but there's a lot of protection when it comes to the future and this blessing that is actively making its way into your life right now by the more that you like grow and the more that you feel a sense of unfolding, or the more that you focus on the unfolding. Even these beetles here, you have two little beetles. I don't know if you can see them, but these are giving, for right now, they're giving scarab. I can't pick it up right now, but believe me. Um, it's giving scarab beetles, and scarab beetles and dung beetles, for me, are very similar, if not pretty much the same thing. Scarab beetles are known for being so celest, guided by the celestials, and guided by this, like the masters of the universe. And they also are known for turning a very crappy situation into something that they reemerge out of somehow better. And it's, it's a sign of reincarnation, but also regeneration, reemerging and being revitalized. And I see that for the, for you. The universe wants you to tell you that nothing was in your journey was in vain. Nothing in your journey was in vain. Everything has even the smallest detail they want you to know. Even the smallest detail has been significant in your journey into being here now. If you guys are questioning or if you feel doubt or you're you're for, for a lot of you guys like yoga or practicing mindfulness or meditation has been your lifeline lately or something very similar, something very similar to detachment. Even you feeling like I've lost, not hope in the situation, but I just give up. There's something about that that is, oh, the universe heard that and is awakening to that. And the situation is literally transitioning right now through, because that was a major moment of growth for you. I don't, Wow, let me read this to you. I want to be improbable and afraid of nothing as if I had wings. So this is, this is, honestly, this is, feels like the desire that's being expressed of your heart that you have literally, that the universe is gonna leave for you, for you to find, or for it to find you. There's something here that you've been holding on in your heart, in your chest space. And it almost feels like, it's like one major thing. It could be heart, it, it could be love, it could be recognition, it could be, it's something major that you're holding on so close to your heart, whether it be like a message, a sign, like send me a sign, there's something you've been holding on to and it feels like it dissolved or it, it like you were there's days where you have so much hope for it and then there's days where all hope feels lost and dashed and I just want to say that there's something about you not letting go but just being like if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen I'm gonna do this and the universe responds quickly to not only give you that very thing, that blessing, but to also say to you, you did it, you did it. This is what we needed for you to do was to, it's even when I see the pumpkin here, it reminds me of the Cinderella story. Like right when she thinks that this is it, like it's the end of the night for her, it's the end of the route. There's all these events and the, these guides that show up for her to make, to make this happen and it's, she just wants one good night. Like she just wants one good something, you know? And then her whole life changes the moment where she's just given up. 
And the universe says, we just needed to teach you how to surrender. We needed to teach you how to let go because it's this balance between what you do and then what you receive. The, the act of receiving, it's this balance between masculine and feminine and your angels and your guides or the universe here today is like this past memory, this past wish that you've made, we haven't forgotten it and now we're protecting you and making sure that what you're looking for finds you. Despite all of the odds, despite all of the obstacles, we will find a way. So let me grab your oracle cards for you and let's see so the first card is honeysuckle interesting ethereal beauty and shyness but i also use honeysuckle very often in you know spell work or in my intention oils conjure oils for attracting and i feel like this is exactly what the universe is giving to you right now is the ability to attract that which you've been trying to receive within your life. Yeah, stinking cedar, we have vulnerability and threat. I feel like for many of you guys, again, like remember there was this need to kind of like punch out and protect. For some of you guys, you might actually have felt or dealt with actual attacks to your health and your overall well being. And the universe is bringing a solution to that if it hasn't already. They're honoring the fact that you have fought very hard. And if it's not related to health and well-being, this has to do with you fighting for something that is that you wish to manifest. The next card we have, wow, love. All of these cards will be linked down below. But yes, love. So beautiful okay the next few cards are nine of pentacles and queen of pentacles again this is someone who is finally in the position to genuinely be ready and I know that when we're wanting and hoping and wishing for something we say to the universe I'm ready I'm ready now but sometimes the universe sees our energy better than we can see ourselves and it's not until we're actually ready when we let go when we allow the universe to do what it's going to do then everything then you're actually ready but all things feel aligned to bring this into you now and you are ready and you are prepared so something's about to happen and I really feel like it's something that's going to feel a little short of a miracle like it's going to feel like a miracle wow next card we have wow guys we have the tower card the hangman reversed and the nine of swords so these cards right here are saying that this is something that you've been holding on to you might have literally let go of, you might have let go and surrendered this outcome remember i kept saying i feel like this energy of you surrendering and as soon as you did that i feel like your anxiety kind of dissipated a little bit and that might have actually been been the thing that's been creating so much tension blocking this blessing from coming into your life but the tower card shows up and says just like that the miracle happens and again a miracle is the unknowns well not the unknown but something that shouldn't happen but somehow it does the next few cards we have wow queen of wands and the six of cups do you remember how i said the past six of cups is here this deck is a little difficult to look at because it is the horror tarot but Six of Cups brings back memories of the past and the Queen of Wands says that this might actually be in connection with this person, a Queen of Wands, or it could just be your energy, literally feminine, whether however you identify, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, she's ready to receive. The one card that is missing here is actually the Queen of Swords. And I used to teach just in the Sacred Circle Tarot School. It's not always the cards that have shown up, it's the cards that also didn't. The fact that the Queen of Swords is here and the Queen of Cups is here, it's literally showing to me that there is no emotions attached to the outcome and something about that is actually magical because your energy and the ground, the foundation for you to receive is ready prepared to, to gain now. So that's what the universe wants to tell you that if it's, to me it feels like love, like a beautiful love is on the way, but you will know what this is because it's a wish that you spoke of since childhood something that you've been waiting for or it could be hearing from someone someone that you really really love from childhood 
or a memory of the past, a past connection, something that you truly, truly love. All right, my loves, thank you so much for being here. I do have Bahati Love Notes. That is um, not every day, not every day readings, but often readings as they're called to. It's a $15 membership, but it's pretty thorough. Um, that is linked down below if you would like to subscribe or sign up for that. Either way, I want to invite you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please give it a thumbs up because it shows the YouTube algorithm that my YouTube channel is worth listening to minimum, okay? Thank you guys. I'm gonna move on to the second pile, which is Eyes of Misfortune. All right, my loves, if you chose the Eyes of Misfortune, this is your reading. What does the universe want you to hear? What is the universe trying so hard to tell you? Now, I do have this big bowl of charms here. It does get pretty loud when I'm shuffling, but I like to do it very thorough. So go ahead and not pause the video, but maybe mute it if it gets too loud for you or turn the volume down. I'll give you a little head count. Three, two, one. What does this pile need to hear? Those that chose I of this fortune. Universe, what are you trying to tell them? Hmm. Interesting. Some of you guys have have been blocking. Ooh my goodness some of you guys have been the universe needs you to know that you've been blocking i don't know if this is psychic attack or people who've been trying to pry in your money as a result your money is going up yep we have the hermit card just jumped out in here we also have the emperor this has everything to do with boundaries if you've been trying to enforce healthy boundaries here it's definitely been working you have this this pile, if you chose this pile, your path is leading you to unexpected income. Like a nest egg or abundance, like serious, serious abundance. If you, please, I'm gonna tell you this, I can't stress this enough, but the, if you chose this pile, do not share p with people your blessings right now, especially when it comes to your finances and your resources, opportunities. Don't do it. Keep that energy of boundaries up. For a lot of you, I'm getting a strong sense of faith. Your faith has really been tested here. It's it's very interesting. Your faith... Well, actually, I can't tell if this is that your faith is being tested or if you're, you're very prickly about your faith. You might be a little defensive about your faith. The number five is definitely something that's significant here. Five, five, five. There's change here. Major change, actually. That's really what's coming through. There's a lot of change. A lot of, there's something about change within you, but change around you. The season's changing. your own transition. Some of you guys have really leveled up or you're in the process of leveling up. I see you being very busy. I see you knowing exactly what you want. I feel like you're creating your light, like your luck. Yeah, you're about to get some serious. If it's not, if it's not like wealth, it's a huge, there's a big opportunity here. I really, I can't stress this enough, guys. There's someone, you got to be careful. When this money starts to come in or when this financial blessing or opportunity comes through, it's you're going to want to share it. You're going to want to flex a little bit. I would not. <laughs> I, I would keep this under wraps. Almost even so with, with family too as well. Yeah, guys, you have a lot of a lot of resources here. Someone has a new idea or an idea when it comes to how you're going to make money. It's interesting. I feel like the what the universe wants you to know, and this is very specific, is 
don't tell people what your like your idea don't tell people the next big abundant thing that's coming into your life I'm seeing an enforcing of boundaries and protecting yourself from evil eye. The universe wants you to receive financial or something concrete that you can put your hands on. They don't, they want you to be open to receiving it, but when you're receiving it, to protect it. This doesn't, I, money is definitely something that's coming through here, but it could be an investment. It could be an idea. It could be something that you really value, that you very, that you treasure it could be a business your your luck my goodness your luck <laughs> this is going to make you this is going to make you have a deeper sense of faith or the universe wants you that when you get blessed with this or when you receive this blessing that you give back in some way that you're you're gifting or tithing for some of you we have Sagittarius here we have Scorpio here this is I don't I, I want to say that this is gonna come as a surprise for you but I don't think that it will if you have a family business this is the universe saying that the business is gonna do well or it's gonna be passed on to you interesting I just I'm just really kind of in awe right now yeah you're about to there's you're about to for some of you guys you're about to be like the next big thing on the internet or if you have if you make music you're about to have a lot of luck when it comes to that and if that's the case you need to be very careful about who's in your circle the universe just wants was, was trying to tell you about put getting into motion and setting into place protection for yourself not oversharing not overextending even if you are securing a large abundance for yourself also try not to blow it quick you're building like a nest egg or there's some type of resource or something that's coming through some of you guys might be traveling to see a sister or a sibling the initials dc or cd are coming through Or music music keeps showing up someone who feels like a sister or s I just the universe says that they the more that you are playful or there's okay there's an interesting word kawaii so like kawaii culture like very cutesy and adorable and pink and pastel you might be there's something about that that inspires you or you might be going to a place or something that's like like drinking boba tea like Japanese or Korean inspired culture or snacks that's so specific I see your luck your luck is really about to change this is something that you are letting out like you're letting the world see you and hear you so it's definitely giving like music but it can also be aesthetic you're feeling like beautiful and vibrant and this is when people start to look for to take from you they look for like like you owe them like let's say this is a friendship and then all of a sudden you're starting to do well and then they say, well, I used to be your friend since fifth grade. Why aren't you giving me $500 when I need it? And it's just like, what if I didn't have this money? Like, you know, you know that I'm doing well. So this is why you feel entitled to take from me. This is why the universe is saying that even if you do take off, make sure that this isn't something that is temporary. They're actually giving me an image of a popsicle where it's like you have this popsicle, this solid thing, but make sure that the environment is bringing it for longevity and not something that's just going to melt away in your hand because just like and make sure that you have the quote unquote dream team this is such a specific message make sure that you have the dream team around you like family or things that last forever if you guys have friends or connections that feel like they're 
dwindling just know that you're being protected. The universe is trying to protect you from people who want from you to gain from you because of your status, because of your resources, because of what your your energy. There's something here about people trying to take from you if you offer it. I also feel like don't try not to um, expect too much from these people this energy feels very short-lived the universe just wants you to also don't take it personally just be aware okay i want to see your yeah something about your faith your faith is going to get so strong there's so many signs of faith here if you guys have had your faith tested or you don't know your your beliefs or your beliefs are changing right now the universe is right on board with that there's moments where we feel super connected and we understand and it feels super in alignment. And there's moments where you're figuring it out or you feel disconnected or you, it's just not, your your faith doesn't feel like the answer. But even still, the universe and the divine is, is with you. You might be touching in on certain different pieces of practices or gaining inspiration from different things, not even spiritually related. Okay, that's what you let's look at your oracle cards. So the first card for you is utility and advantage. Exactly. This is speaking directly about your hard work paying off. You're going to see the results of it. Wow. The next card is another card about abundance and reaping the benefits. Butter beans. Exactly. This card says counting and time cycles. So it's literally only a matter of time before this this abundance is secured for you that your hard work pays off it's right there wow self-sufficiency exactly so it's really interesting too that self-sufficiency is showing up and not ex not so much partnership the first pile was talking a lot about partnership and union this is about making sure that you're doing what you need to do to secure resources for yourself or you being overly abundantly capable of being able to handle what's going to happen next when it comes to your abundance but also your resources or this opportunity next cards we have wow guys six of pentacles and the eight of pentacles i can't make this up this is definitely in connection alignment with your hard work paying off it's what you've already put out you're about to give oh, i'm sorry what you've already put out you're about to gain the next card we have is the five of pentacles and the king of cups yeah i don't know why this feels like a warning king of cups in his upright he's very compassionate and kind and is a giver like a provider but five of pentacles is feels like a big caution to not allow your heart to kind of rule the way with what you give because you'll end up with less or people will take and there'll be no you, it'll it could hurt you it could hurt you emotionally it can hurt you but also financially five six seven eight yeah eight of eight of swords and two of cups you might have had some form of anxiety or the, this is the universe actually talking about again like how partnership might be do you see how she's sewing her arm together? You know what it's reminding me of? This is the Nightmare Before Christmas tarot deck. I will link all of the decks that I've, I'm using down below. But think about how her creator created her, but didn't create her with the best interests in heart and mind. He created her for partnership, but did he actually genuinely want a partner so he would keep trying to trap her and she would keep outsmarting him and escaping because that wasn't what she wanted. Even though he brought her into this world or created her using bits and pieces, she still is self-sufficient. She still is independent. She still has aut autonomy. Am I saying that correctly? She's separate. She's individual. She's unique. She has opinions. She has a perspective. She's intelligent. And he hated that so every time she would have to sew her arm back up up because she they would take it like she would offer it 
And I just feel like this is a message here that the universe is cautioning you against that. That be very mindful and aware of who, who is trying to take advantage of you. I'm also seeing people kind of like counting specifically as like, this is what you owe me. This is why I think it's important that you, in your best interest, five of pentacles, I'm not saying that you be stingy or that you cut people off, but if people don't know what you have or what you are growing, then they don't know to ask for it. And I feel like the universe is trying to tell you that something really beautiful is happening in your life to 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 give you to put you in a place where you can receive the benefit and they want you to have it they want you to secure it they want you to invest it without any temptation so at least do that first before you you know start do, um making it dwindle but either way, there's real hard work that's about to pay off and real abundance that I just genuinely feel like the universe is trying to tell you that you're about to secure for yourself. And don't let anyone take advantage of you, okay? So that's this message. Please give this video a thumbs up because it tells the YouTube channel or the YouTube platform that I'm worth minimally listening to. It encourages others to click and it just feels really good for me as a reader. And I do want to encourage you to subscribe too if you would like or if you haven't already. And oh, Bahati Love Notes is definitely in the works. My readings for this year for my clients are pretty much all booked up. And um, just putting those little disclaimers out there for you guys. But I think there's a few appointments left. Anyway, thank you guys so much for being here. And I'm going to move on to the third message. Raven Wings, what the universe wants you to hear now. Hello, my loves. So if you chose the third message or raven wings this is what the universe wants you to hear to know to understand the message that they've been trying to tell you the universe has been trying to tell you now i'm going to be pulling from this big old jumbo jar of charms it does get a little loud sometimes so i'm going to count down from three and then you can mute or turn the volume down and then I'll give you the signal doo -doo 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 -doo, <laughs> to let you know that I'm done shuffling. Oh, well, you, you could see me pulling the charms. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Beautiful universe. What are you trying to tell those who chose this pile? Raven's wings. Okay, let's go ahead and let's see, shall we? First of all, you got one of my favorite charms, the bumblebee. Let me look at these real quick. First and foremost, <sighs> very interesting. What the universe has been trying to tell you is um, 
I feel like you've you've recently you've put down something very heavy. Uh, you you it's almost like you're letting something down or letting something go. I just heard heavy is the crown, heavy is the head that wears the crown, and that's the energy that is that I'm seeing here. You are you are in a space right now. The universe wants you or is watching you put down a heavy crown, a heavy burden, and to put yourself first. This is some I'm actually seeing a lot of you guys kind of turning your back away from I don't know what this is, but it's whatever was was burdensome to you. Some of you feel like you're stuck right now and you're not stuck. You, some of you guys feel like you're incapable. Not that you're not powerful because you have to be here. It's not that you're not powerful. There's just, you're, 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 the universe is asking you or putting you in a place where you have to choose happiness. You have to choose peace. I also feel that you're mastering peace. And I know that that sounds so like, what do you mean like mastering it? Like it, it means that you're not, you, it means that what you have is, is here is enough and that there isn't anything that feels like it's to, like tearing at your soul. I don't know how to describe this. I'm going to do my best. So you actually have a heel here, like a heel and Sure, this can signify fashion, but what this is really showcasing for me is subconscious expectations that you may have held yourself to a certain standard to. And now that you have held such to high, such a high standard, you have really learned through experience that you don't you don't necessarily have to do things that way and i think that your the universe is watching you kind of figure out and really embody this energy of like i am enough i also see not that you haven't been authentic before or moving with integrity before but i just see you kind of disrobing and it shows right now it's showing like a stripping a, a stripping away into I don't I like I'm struggling to say this but it, or find the words it it feels like someone who has grown tremendously understands themselves on a whole nother level and even though they understand this about themselves they still may be grappling with the expectations that they are holding on from like subconsciously that makes them feel like they're not doing enough that they're not beautiful without these external things it's like the reality that you have learned is something that you are stepping further into and trusting and that this is going to become your new way of life but for right now it is a little uncomfortable it's like someone who does a lot or is especially with the bee here it's someone who is always kind of helping or making honey whatever that honey is like just always always doing and there's a part of you that it's it's maybe exhaustion or maybe trauma or something traumatic happened all of a sudden you're you you started turning your energy and turning your back away from okay spirit is showing me an image of someone who rises who rises in the morning, same time every day, and goes out and labors in the field. And they start, like let's say one year for them is the entire span of their life. Or let's say three years, because we don't want it to get too dark. So three years is the entire span of their life experience here. 
and they start realizing that although they're waking up at seven o'clock in the morning the sun is taking too long to, to show up or to warm up and they start thinking well am I doing something wrong like I thought I woke up at 7 a.m. and it's not that they're doing anything wrong it's just that the position of the earth has tilted because that's what happens this is what I'm seeing for you it's like you're moving with this new season and cycle in your life but you're in the adjustment phase you might be looking at yourself and saying well what am I doing wrong because I'm not seeing or getting the same results that I have in the past or I don't feel the same way or whatever and there's this need to embrace this current so that you can wait for this season of your life not that it's not productive but just not expect the same thing and somehow in not expecting it you can see the blessing and totally embody this new sense of newfound wisdom i really hope that this makes sense you guys know my my readings sometimes go so deep just a second I had to change the battery, but literally that's a message all by itself too, is change. This ear, the universe wants you to know that the change that you're experiencing right now, or that you're being asked to embrace right now, even if that means that you're turning away from old ways, old routines, old lifestyles, old friendships, old connections, it's actually right on the money. It's right on the money. I'm also getting that this change that you are being called into right now, that you're being led into, maybe even feeling like you're forced into, is to bring you into a space of kindness and compassion and softness and gentleness. It's very interesting because you have this cotton candy charm, which I don't even remember putting that charm in my basket here. But for me right now, it represents how the universe wants to hold you, like you're light, like candy, like cotton candy. And it, they want to protect you right now. Think about if you have like cotton candy and raindrops get on it and it starts to melt into a little syrupy puddle that this little bee will and then eventually and inevitably find and then turn it into a sweet honey. It, it Whatever the outcome is, it just feels like it's going to be something... It's going to be... The, the universe wants you to know, minimum, you are enough right now you're doing enough or you have done enough and in the process of you entering into a softer kinder season in your life please don't beat up on yourself because you're not doing what you once did the journey up until this point you have been so fearless you've been very committed you've been very solid you've been very stable you've given a lot of yourself and try not whether that led to incredible success or dramatic failure the universe still sees you as enough regardless they want you to be able to see what a difference you make in the eyes of the universe's eyes don't look at how other people value you look at how the universe values you and and really allow yourself to surrender and go into a space of divine transparency and vul vulnerability sharing your heart with the universe that's going to be very brave for you right now it's funny because I'm I see this little candle flame here or this little candle oh actually no this is like bad juju like bad luck car curses and stuff like that but I actually see it as a candle flame is what I was actually gonna say it's funny that I even looked at it like that because really what this is you might have had because I don't know if you guys can see this you actually have three three eyes here that represent like evil eye on you so there might have been some interference from outside sources of like jealousy that has created you feeling so hard on yourself right now or 
I would hope that it's coming from an external source and not coming from you where you are so hard on yourself that you've not cursed yourself but created this feeling of like punishment or resistance to the divine and either way you're being this sounds so weird but like pulled into the womb of the universe it's a place where you can go and get nourished and be covered and protected and safe and rest and dream and get this like some of you guys might have been dealing with like burnout or frustrating expectations I'm also feeling like for some of you guys if you're something about food is allow yourself to enjoy food like really enjoy food there's too many charms here that are showing food and they're upside down or turned away from you and it's interesting that I said the womb because the womb is where you get connected to the umbilical cord and the umbilical cord gives you nourishment the fruits of your womb so for some of you guys this may actually signify pregnancy I want to tell you, um, yeah, guys, there's, okay, don't get weird, don't, or don't get scared about this, but there is this message here. If you chose this pile, Raven's Wings, there's something to be said about, um, like, curses and hexes and, you know, juju, like, thrown your way, like, bad juju thrown your way, and sometimes, well, well, a lot of times the universe can see this faster than we can see it for ourselves. And when we are pulled away, it would, what, okay, Max, what this did is that it made you turn upside down. It made you turn topsy-turvy. It made you feel like what you were doing is not enough. It made you turn away from, con from continuing to offer blessings because you felt so malnourished in your own journey. So that's the max of what this has done for you. But it's what you do then that either amplifies this direct direct feeling of attack from someone because we also have this little snake here. So this might have been someone who's who's literally trying to cut away at your, your blessings. It could be someone who is jealous of you, someone who is scorned by love. That's very specific, but that's what's showing up here. Sometimes it's not that they lit a candle because sometimes when we think of like bad juju and stuff We're like, oh, they lit a candle. They they put a curse on me Sometimes it's in how people pray like when they pray to God or pray to the universe It's their anger their resentment when they're praying about you. It impacts you even though it's a prayer And this goes directly for the Christian community and I know I'm gonna lose some followers saying that I'm so sorry But I'm just being honest it ended up making you, instead of being proud to wear your crown, remember how I said at the very beginning of your reading that heavy is the head that wears the crown? Instead of you feeling proud of wearing the crown, you're almost like, get this thing off of me. And this is why the divine is pulling you back into, or the universe is asking you to go into the womb space so that you can receive clarity and nourishment. And I also feel like this is what you're taking off of you is how this, this expectation that is that you've had for yourself. Maybe it could be generational. The fact that you feel like you have to keep going, going, going all the time to the point where it's actually taking, stealing away from your happiness and your joy and making you not even want to show up. But there's an innocence here and there's a softness and a coziness. You also have this little bear charm, which represents to me like holding on to something that comforts you. And I just see this again. What is the universe trying to tell you? They're trying to tell you that, I just like totally interrupted myself in my own thinking. The universe is trying to tell you uh, that you are enough and to trust and to go, to build, to go into that womb space. Don't be, don't be hesitant to go into that womb space. This too shall pass. This feeling of, resentment or irritability or 
I don't want to do this anymore. This is too heavy for me. My, I'm turning away from my blessings. That's, you can, the universe wants you to know that they're going to work to turn this around so that that's not going to be something that you're stuck on. Because for some of you guys, you feel very in the dark right now, or you feel like you can't um, get out, like you can't change, change things. No, uh, the universe wants you to nourish yourself and to know that there's a really bright, beautiful future ahead of you. Like you're very powerful, very, very powerful, very, very, you're meant to do great things in this life, not just for others, but also for yourself. You're meant to receive big things in this life. I just think that you might be turned away from being able to see it. And that's where this energy is kind of coming. It's creating like a, a veil so you can't actually see it in the way that you should. Let's look at your oracle cards. Yeah, the first card is white pine, bright future and longevity, exactly. This is what I think that you guys might have lost in this pile a little bit is a, a sense of optimism in the future or you feel like something that you work so hard to build is I don't want to say it's going to not last, but it feels like it has thorns to it. Like it doesn't, and that itself is tran transforming right now. So the universe wants to tell you that what you've built is going to be, it's going to carry for the long haul. This might even be like marriage. You guys might, you might feel like your marriage or your relationship might be dissolving, but it, it's about to turn around. Yeah, Solomon's seal, ease and gladness. This is exactly what the universe is trying to tell you right now and trying to give you is ease and joy and happy, happiness in your everyday life. Things that you can be very proud of that don't, that have nothing to do with giving to other people or doing things. It's funny because the piles before that we had, the first one was love, the second one was career. This one is about you, like you just being enough. Let's look at your next pile. Truth, wow, whoa, oh my gosh. I did not realize this. Let me read to you what this card says, truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear universe. Take me over and speak through me. That is so stunning. Some of you guys, when you're in this womb space, you're going to feel very connected to the, to the divine, to the universe. You're going to feel so protected that you are going to feel like the mouthpiece of the divine. And that's going to be a part of your legacy but for right now just be embraced by spirit right now be embraced by the 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 universe the divine your angels and your guides i'm also seeing mother mary a lot in this pile or a, a, an adjacent like arisha to that the next cards we have the empress three of wands and ace of cups so this also is huge telling of pregnancy especially when i was talking about the womb here this is something that is about to enter into your life, major. Or this is something that you are growing or you are growing from. You yourself may be getting so nurtured right now that you are literally going to feel like you're born again. And you're about to re-enter into the world or enter into the world for the first time, especially if you're cutting yourself free of these expectations, these burdens. Or if you're someone who has lived with like hexes and energy thrown your way, especially generational stuff, you've, you're, you, somehow you've cut this and now that you've cut and cleared and cleansed, you've done the work, go into the womb. Go into the womb and rest. That's what the universe wants to give to you right now is you are not tied to that anymore. You're not. I'm gonna look at the horror tarot first. This card, these cards are a little dark. Like as I said that, this is the creepiest one I've seen so far. We have two of swords and then the nine of pentacles. Wow. So sorry guys, this, this card is a little dark. It is the horror tarot. But what this card is suggesting is that 
your that you are being protected nine of pentacles is what we have worked so hard to secure for ourselves and the two of swords says i'm putting this this is you sitting in the womb and just being able to eat the fruits of your labor and not and not feel like it's going to be taken out of your mouth or you know um i gotta go back and work harder again this is about you genuinely the nine of pentacles is always about ease and gratitude and contentment and literally reaping like enjoying the fruits of your labor this the universe wants you what is the universe trying to tell you right now make space to allow you to enjoy it or do things that you love now or there's something about growing things that from the heart and not from a sense of duty or obligation and I also feel like a sense of like new purpose and awakening coming into your life like a new role next cards we have we have wow queen of cups or queen of potions this card was reversed but that's okay we also have the six of cups here six of potions so this has to do with innocence and joy. And then we have 10 of cups. Also reversed, but I feel like this is showing up because there's a part of you guys that your duty, your duty and your sense of service has almost cr crunched out joy and pleasure for you to the point where you might feel like you're doing something wrong when you're living in ease or luxury. And that's what the universe doesn't want you to believe is that it has to be all work all the time. What did they say? All work and no play makes John boy a dull boy or something like that. <laughs> I just butcher that quote. But what does the universe want you want for you right now? That sense of ease big time that sense of ease so thank you guys so much for being here I hope that this was somehow uplifting for you I know that my messages typically are they bring you know what do they bring sometimes I don't say heaviness but they bring meh. Um, so I hope that that was good for you as it was for me <laughs> Um, thank you again guys so again so much for being here. I do hope that this message was genuinely received by you and 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 appreciated by you. Please give this video a thumbs up because it allows the YouTube algorithm to think that what it is that I'm doing here is worth listening to. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys again so much for being a part of my journey here. I hope that you're doing well. And I'll see you in the next, the next pick a card reading. Feel free to send me suggestions for the next pick a card reading that you would like to see. I'll see you guys later. Bye.